from the Pretty Plus. Today's Vlogmas, day 23. <sighs> I've almost made it through the whole thing. I honestly didn't know if I could. And I have maybe cheated it a few times. The last few days I've posted videos I filmed way in advance that I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna post this. Well, I did because I needed something, but um, I definitely didn't stick to my schedule and I didn't show as much Christmas themed stuff as I wanted to. But we were sick for a few weeks, still getting over being sick, and we didn't do as Christmas, much Christmas stuff as I wanted to, so I couldn't film as much. But um, today I have a huge stock up haul. This is probably the largest haul I've ever done on my channel. Definitely not like anything crazy. It's not like large family style. It's not like large family style or anything, but I did spend $350. I spent $160 at Sam's Club, and I spent $190 at Walmart. It's nothing super exciting. It's just things that we need in our pantry because they're pretty bare. I cleaned them out, got rid of all the expired things that I thought were still good, um, decided to only get things that we use all the time, and hopefully that will make um, my weekly shopping trips that much easier. I'm just gonna get into it and show you what we got. So I'll start with Sam's Club. Um, first of all, there are a few things that aren't shown because my husband already took them downstairs. I am not even gonna pretend to be mad about it because I didn't have to do it. So um, a big thing of Kleenex tissues, two big things of laundry detergent. I think that's it. I think that I'm gonna be showing everything, but who knows? Who really knows? I'll just show you what I have. Um, I got a vegetable tray. This is to take to my family's Christmas party. I got a 30 pack of the mini Cokes. I love Coke, obviously. I'm trying to lay off of the caffeine and the sugar in Coke. So the mini cans, just allowing myself to have one a day, two if I really need it. Um, but instead of, you know, drinking a whole 12 ounce can, these are only 7.5 ounces basically like a 100 calorie pack for 90 calories and I just love coca-cola so I can't really cut it out um I got a 16 pack of the Johnsonville white hamburger buns for hamburgers and for our chicken patties that we're freaking obsessed with right now um a 12 pack of the Venus razors these were uh four dollars off I think the original price um, I go between these and the regular ones, depending on which ones are on sale. These are my favorites, but you get like two or four less, but they were a lot cheaper this time, so I did that. Um, I got a 10 pound thing of ground beef, but I've already processed it. I did two packs of burgers that are about a third pound each, and then six packs, seven packs of around a pound um, hamburger to freeze. And then we haven't tried these, but they were also one of the um, savings. What are they called? Instant savings. And um, they look pretty good. The Tyson chicken breast tenderloin. They're the uncooked kind. We'll see about that. Okay, going to try to clear some stuff off. I think that's everything that I got from Sam's Club. We only purchased 10 items. And it was 160 bucks, as it always is like that at Sam's Club. So let me clear these things off so I can put the freezer stuff back in the freezer, refrigerator stuff back in the refrigerator, and then I'll show you what I got from Walmart. Okay, so at Walmart, this is where I did a bulk of the damage. Obviously, it was 190 bucks, and a lot of it was like cans and pantry stuff. So I got bow tie pasta, a package of fudge brownie mix, rotini pasta, a five pack of macaroni and cheese, scalloped potatoes, a thing of angel hair pasta, um, some little crunchies for Clara. She's never had this flavor and I don't know if she'll like it. It's the only one they had at Walmart. They were out of all, literally all the others. So, little crunchies, apple sweet potato. It is, um, the Horizon Organic. These are stable, uh, shelf stable, um, milk. I usually, I wanted to get the whole milk, but they only had it in the large pack. So I went with the low-fat milk. I decided this would be a good idea to, like, take on road trips with us and stuff. So we don't have to stop for milk um, if we're, like, if it's at nighttime and she needs some milk or whatever. So 
these are expensive. It's like a dollar per bottle of these little bottles, but it beats having to stop and waste a whole half gallon of milk or something. And in Indiana, I can get a half gallon of milk for like a dollar twenty-five or so. But in other places, they're a lot more expensive. So this is, ends up being a cheaper option and time-saving option, headache-saving option. And then I got these Honest Kids um, Apple Organic Juice Drinks. They are basically a lot of water and some apple juice. And we found that there have been times where we need to give Claire apple juice, constipation, things like that. So um, instead of going and buying like a huge thing of apple juice, it's easy to have these on hand as well. Heinz tomato ketchup. I bought the two pack. It's like almost seven bucks, I think, but we go through it so quickly. Um, El Paso cheesy Mexican rice. That's a good one. I like the La Preferida brand, I think, but they don't sell it at my Walmart anymore. This has been a second best type of option. Should have put that in the refrigerator. Brett wanted some mug root beer, and um, I got some vegetable juice. I put that in my chili. I have everything on hand in case I want to make chili, like on a whim, or if I want to put it into a meal plan. Um, my grandma's my grandma's chili takes V8 juice, so I got the great value. So I got the great value version of that. Um, two things of the tomato basil garlic pasta sauce i prefer the aldi brand better however i didn't feel like going to aldi since they've redone my aldi it doesn't feel as i don't know relaxing and cathartic to go in there all of the vegetables seem to not be as great so i'm pretty upset about that and so i've just been going to walmart more often um these are 50 cents cheaper than the ones that i usually get at aldi um, so that's a win. It was easy to pick them up today. Not saying I'm never going to Aldi because I definitely will, but I didn't feel like going today. I'm still mad at them. Um, Duke's Mayo for just to have in the pantry. I got this for tomorrow for breakfast. Since Claire and Brett will be home, I'll be at work. They can have this for breakfast. Brett really likes it. And then one we can just keep in the refrigerator for I don't know. I'm sure they don't expire for a while. February? Yeah, so we'll just keep that for a while. Um, Double stuff Oreo. This is something I've been wanting. Um, if you follow along at all, you'll probably know that I purchase these kind of often. I love Oreos. Coke and Oreos. I think I could live on that if it wouldn't just make me explode. Um, I need garlic powder and cumin. Those are 98 cents a piece at Walmart. And then I got three of the Better Than Bullion. I found that I really love them. And since I was doing a stock up, I decided I would usually stock up and buy broth. But instead, I bought these. So I bought chicken. Well, it's like roasted chicken, roasted beef, and seasoned vegetable base. I haven't tried the vegetable one, but I've tried the other two, and they're amazing. I have been putting off purchasing that when everyone's raved about it and I regret it now because it's so much better than like the box of broth and then getting into some self-care type of stuff um I got two of the Maybelline Fit Me concealers that I use all the time um I use them instead of um sorry the light is so weird now I use them instead of foundation. I hardly ever use foundation. I'll just put these on like my under eyes and like around my nose and you know on my chin and then I'll use <clears throat> the Real Technique sponge, damp it, blend it out, and then just set it with some powder and that's good for me. And they're pretty cheap. They can go like six bucks a piece. A duo pack of these were like six bucks. And then I use the Illegal Inks Mascara by Maybelline, my favorite, so I grabbed another one of those. If I'm buying things that are like fancy or like something new or something to try, eyeshadow palette, something like that, I'll spend my own money, but since these are like everyday things, like what I wear to work, um, that, that'll come out of our regular budget. Um, deodorant, I get the secret shower fresh. 
Brett gets the Red Guard Stream Defense Fresh Blast. Um, I went with Pantene Pro-V Shampoo. People can say what they want about it, but I used it at my father-in-law's house, and I'm addicted. It smelled so good, and my hair felt so nice. So, you know, I'll use that in combination with my Bumble and Bubble Sunday Shampoo and make sure that I get all the, you know, buildup out, and we'll be good. I got the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle. Um, it's like a mask, like a conditioner mask, deep conditioner, and it is, it smells so good, and it does so well, so... I needed that. I haven't had it for a little while. Now I've got some stuff for Claire going on back here. I got a 42 pack of diapers and a 96 pack of diapers. The 42 is like the regular parent's choice. We've gotten them before. They work great. And then the 96 is the parent's choice. What is it? Premium diapers. They were on clearance. It was the last box in her size. Um, it was like $10 for a box of 96. So I decided to try those out. I'm sure it'll be great or better than these which we already know we like so whatever um Claire's having some eczema issues something like that she has really dry patches on her skin and um did some research and found that this is really good for the babes so I grabbed that for her we've been doing aquaphor on those spots and it just feels a little too heavy so I think this will be a little lighter for her baby skin um, I always grab the Granimals, um, clothes for her. Um, she is short and petite, skinny waist. And I found that these leggings are actually long enough for her while fitting her waist. Um, I wanted to get more black ones, but they didn't have her size. So I grabbed these purple ones and this cute little dinosaur shirt to go with it. And then this is just a black t-shirt. It was on sale for a dollar. Easy peasy there. Um, she's off the bottle. So um, we have just been waiting to see what cups she's really taken to. And she likes the straw kind of cup for water and the 360 type of cup for milk, which is probably a really good combination as far as making sure her teeth are well taken care of because this uh, straw can still kind of coat her teeth and just using it for water is good and then this is really good for using for milk so those will be great back into some food stuff and then we'll be done I got two packets of the ranch salad dressing and seasoning mix use that for seasoning things or if I want to whip up some salad dressing and then I was at a friend's house a few days ago and she made this dip um, for veggies and I was obsessed with it. So I grabbed two of them. You just add sour cream and um, yeah, I thought they were really, really tasty. And I feel like I could just do half a packet for just at home and you know, just dish it up with dinner. It'll be really good. And then, whew, I am out of breath. Over here, I've never tried these but they were on clearance. They were like a dollar so I got this Nor Spanish style rice. They're like the 90 second microwave ones. Cheddar broccoli rice and olive oil and garlic brown rice. Those are for quick sides if we need them. I got the Maruchan. Maruchan. I wish I, I should Google how to say this. Um, my preferred kind of ramen sometimes. You just want some ramen noodles. So I don't grab the big 12 pack like I did when I was a college, high schooler, college student. But I grabbed four to keep in the pantry. And then this tower of goodness is a bunch of cans. Um, oh, let me think if I can remember. I grabbed one can of kidney beans, two cans of, um, what was it? Two cans, two cans of seasoned black beans, three cans of... Uh, the Rosarita traditional refried beans, three cans of cream of mushroom, three cans of cream of chicken, two cans of cream of celery, four cans of green beans, four cans of petite diced tomatoes, I think three cans of corn. I'm pretty sure that's it for like the main staple things for the, the pantry. And then um, I grabbed five of these Chef Boyardee 
like little mini cups that Claire loves, loves these things. Like when we give them to her, you'd think that it's Christmas every single day. She loves these things. Um, we still have a lot from the last time we purchased them, but I just grabbed more, you know. The my, mini micro beef ravioli is her favorite, but I grabbed, I grabbed three of those and then one mac and cheese and one rice and with chicken and vegetables. And then I grabbed these spaghetti rings by Great Value. They're basically SpaghettiOs, only way cheaper. My niece will eat those and sometimes I get a craving to eat them because I loved them as a kid. So I'm sure Claire and I could share a can since I can't eat a whole can. But that is everything. A lot of crap and uh, you know it feels really good to have gotten it all because now I feel like I'm setting myself up for a great like first quarter of the year in shopping because I'll have so much of the like staple things done that if I really need you know need to get anything else I can just do this again <sighs> which sounds exhausting but I like doing this I haven't been able to in a while, but I'm glad that we, I decided to go ahead and do that for, you know, just getting ready for the new year. Um, thank you guys okay. so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of video, be sure to subscribe at the pretty plus Well, subscribe here. You can find me on the internet at the pretty plus on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter as always on the pretty my blog, and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.